Hello, everyone. Greetings, Professor Janelle. My name is Cheryl, and I am joined by my colleague Eden for this report. Our group is excited to share the results of our feasibility study, which focuses on addressing the common challenges faced by Baguio City residents when visiting supermarkets. Our solution aims to revolutionize their shopping experience through the development of the Baguio Smart Shop app. Let's dive into details. To begin, we will first provide an introduction to the study outlining the context and importance of tackling these challenges in Baguio City supermarket scene. Baguio City, known as the summer capital of the Philippines, has seen a rapid population growth and an influx of tourists, leading to various challenges for residents, especially when it comes to supermarket visits. Overcrowding, traffic congestion, and limited accessibility make grocery shopping a stressful and time-consuming task for many residents. Now that we've set the stage, let's move on to the statement of the problem. It's crucial to understand the specific difficulties that residents encounter during supermarket visits, which our study aims to solve. Baguio City was originally designed for a much smaller population. Today, with almost 400,000 residents, supermarket accessibility has become a significant issue. The key problems identified include traffic congestion, overcrowded stores, long queues, limited parking spaces, and difficulties in accessing supermarkets, especially for those in remote or hill areas. These issues create a stressful and time-consuming shopping experience for residents. With the problem clearly defined, we'll now lay out the key objectives of this study. These objectives highlight what we hope to achieve with the Baguio Smart Shop app, focusing on convenience, efficiency, and user satisfaction. Our feasibility study aims to address these challenges by improving the convenience, accessibility, and overall shopping experience for Baguio City residents. We explored potential solutions to enhance supermarket visits and developed actionable strategies that could be implemented. Of course, every problem presents challenges. Here, we'll take a closer look at the challenges identified during our research which shaped the direction of our proposed solution. We identified and highlighted the four main challenges, and they are as follows. 1. Accessibility. The city's hilly terrain and traffic make it difficult for many residents to reach supermarkets. Number 2. Crowding. High foot traffic during peak hours leads to long queues and a stressful experience. 3. Product availability. Certain products, particularly local and specialty items, are often not well stocked. 4. Affordability. Price differences between supermarkets and local markets affect residents' budgets. Understanding the residents' needs and pain points is crucial to developing a successful solution. So to better understand the experiences, feelings, and needs of our customers and to help us navigate our way in providing solutions to the problem identified in our feasibility study, we broke down their experiences into four key areas. Says, thinks, feels, and does. For says, they said, I prefer going to the store myself, but it's exhausting. For thinks, they said, it's time-consuming and stressful, especially with long queues. For feels, they said they are frustrated by the time spent shopping and the lack of convenience. And for does, some abandon their shopping carts due to long waits or avoid shopping during peak hours. Our solutions directly address these pain points by providing options that make shopping easier, such as drive-through services, enhanced delivery, and better management of store crowds. At this point, I'll hand over the discussion to Eden, who will guide us through the next part of our study. Eden, over to you. Thank you, Mom Cheryl. Good day, Professor Janelle. This is Eden Quinones, who will be discussing the rest of our presentation. I will continue the presentation with a discussion of our value proposition. Our value proposition focuses on enhancing the overall supermarket experience for customers through several key strategies. In this slide, we have identified gains such as better accessibility, higher customer satisfaction, improved service quality, and pain relievers such as addressing accessibility issues, solving inventory shortages, transparent pricing, as well as the key strategies which considers redesigning store layouts, enhancing transportation links, etc. 
Our value proposition is simple yet impactful. By implementing these solutions, we aim to create a more efficient, accessible, and convenient shopping experience for Baguio City residents. The value lies in reducing the time and effort required for grocery shopping, ensuring that residents have access to the products they need at affordable prices, and supporting local businesses by integrating more local products into supermarket inventories. Ultimately, this leads to higher customer satisfaction, increased supermarket sales, and a more sustainable local economy. Next are our proposed solutions. To address these challenges, we propose and present several solutions. First is the drive-through services catering to those who prefer to pick up groceries without leaving their vehicles and also helpful for individuals with mobility challenges as well as those with busy schedules. Second is enhanced delivery services, partnering with supermarkets to offer online ordering and delivery. Third is community-based microstores. Establishing smaller local stores in underserved neighborhoods, thereby reducing travel time. Fourth is peak hour management, implementing strategies like extended store hours and time entry systems to manage congestion. The fifth one is local product integration, increasing the stock of locally produced goods in supermarkets to meet residents' needs. Next, hypothesis. Our hypothesis suggests that the proposed solutions will alleviate the challenges faced by Baguio City residents. First, drive-through services and curbside pickup can reduce food traffic and enhance convenience. Second, delivery services improve accessibility, especially for those in remote areas. Third, microstores can reduce travel time for residents in underserved areas. Fourth, managing peak hours reduces crowding and improves the shopping experience. Fifth, increasing local product availability enhances customer satisfaction and supports local businesses. Sixth, affordability programs help residents manage their budgets better. For the findings in this study, we utilize an online survey with the aim to discovering a potential solution to enhance the supermarket's visit of Baguio City residents. Therefore, our initial survey was geared towards promoting a drive-through supermarket application and obtained these results. Based on the outcome of our online survey, Baguio City residents express a strong preference for drive-through services where residents appreciated the convenience and time saved in utilizing this proposed application. However, as we delved into looking for other potential solutions through research and random interactions with locals, we also identified some other potential solutions that could further enhance the shopping experience of the residents of Baguio City and decided to include the following. First is delivery services, particularly beneficial for those in hard-to-reach areas. Second, microstores, a popular solution among residents who find it difficult to travel to major supermarkets. Third, peak hour strategies. It is effective in reducing wait times and congestion. Fourth is local products. Demand for local goods is high with residents eager to support local businesses. The next slide shows our proposed application called Baguio Smart Shop App. Taking into consideration the results of the survey along with some research and random casual interaction with some of the respondents, our group proposes developing an application called Baguio Smart Shop that offers the following services in one application, namely drive through services, home delivery services, micro store locator, peak hour alerts, local product section, affordability features, and online ordering and real-time inventory management. The detailed core features of the proposed application are presented in this slide. For the drive-through service, this app will provide options for users where they can book in advance and schedule collection. For the home delivery service, the app will allow users to browse products from various supermarkets, place orders, and opt for home delivery. This will address accessibility issues for those in remote or difficult-to-reach areas. The third is for Community Micro Stores Locator. This app will feature a map or locator tool to help residents find the nearest community-based micro stores. This feature will help reduce travel time for grocery shopping. Fourth is Peak Hour Alerts. The app can notify users of current crowd levels at different supermarkets and suggest the best time to shop, thereby helping to manage peak hour congestion. The next feature is Local Product Section. 
The app will highlight local and specialty products available at different supermarkets, making it easier for users to find and purchase these items. Next is affordability features. The app could include a price comparison tool, discounts, and special offers on staple goods. This will help budget-conscious shoppers find the best deals. Last is online ordering and inventory management. Users can check real-time product availability, order online, and choose between pickup or delivery options, ensuring a more efficient shopping experience. To recap, our feasibility study presents practical solutions that can significantly improve the supermarket experience of residents in Baguio City by implementing enhanced drive-through services, delivery services, establishing community-based microstores, and managing peak hours effectively, among other solutions. We can create a more convenient, accessible, and enjoyable shopping experience for residents. We believe these initiatives will not only increase customer satisfaction but also support the local economy. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention and we appreciate your participation.